Hello, today we're going to do a video and the main purpose of the video is to demonstrate how to set up a Grub password. This password will prevent non-authorized users from booting into the root ID. This video will also cover the following topics. It will very briefly mention some items that need to be considered when trying to secure a Linux workstation. We'll also demonstrate how a user can boot into the root ID from an unsecured Grub menu. We'll also demonstrate how to set up a password to prevent, to prevent unauthorized users from booting to the root ID, demonstrate how the password will block a user from accessing the Grub boot commands, and then finally we'll demonstrate how a user can, using the Grub password, access the boot. Um, Boot command, grub boot commands. Okay. Start off our brief discussion on securing a Linux workstation. Um, here's a few things you may wish to consider. If you have a uh, machine running Linux and you really want it to be secure, do not dual boot your machine with Microsoft. It may be possible to load software on the Microsoft operating system that will allow a user to have right access on the file systems on the Linux side. You'll also want to set the BIOS so that the computer can only boot from the hard drive which allows your Linux operating system to boot. You want to turn off booting from your USB devices and turn off booting from your CDs. Only allow it to boot from the hard drive. You want to password protect your BIOS so that those changes can't be modified. Minimally, you want to put a lock on your computer case so uh, internal access is prevented. Otherwise, the um, uh, BIOS password can usually be reset pretty easily, particularly with newer machines. Uh, you want to ensure that you are running security enhanced Linux and running with it enabled. Um, that will prevent users from loading uh, program or to make it more difficult for users to load programs that can compromise the system. You'll also want to password protect your Grub menu so that a user uh, uh, cannot boot into the root ID by a simple addition to the kernel line. And I should have a not there. Okay. Okay, and not boot. Okay, so anyways, um, we're going to be looking at the uh, idea of setting a Grub password. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to reboot and we're going to uh, go in and uh, take a look at how a user can uh, get into root by uh, modifying a command line. And this will just take one second while the machine reboots. Okay, now here we have a uh, grub menu. And if a user taps the E letter, uh, the uh, grub command lines come up. And if they come down here to the kernel and tap E again, and that will bring the kernel line up. They type spacebar and type a 1, or they could type single and then hit enter and now hit B this will boot the system and we can watch the uh, lines go by here and as you can see I am now boot I have booted into single user mode and I am now root I could actually go in here and change passwords if, uh, if I was so inclined. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to show you how to stop that. So I'm going to type uh, reboot. Enter so it boots a little bit quicker. And while I have this little graphical thing going across, if I hit my escape button, I can actually watch what it's doing as it's booting. 
and we're just booting regular here. We're not. Uh, we're going into run level five with the GUIs. Okay, I'm going to come down here and click on other and I'm going to type in root. Normally you don't want to log in with the root ID like this but for our demonstration purposes here that's what we're going to do. And the root password. I get the little warning that I shouldn't really be logging as, in as root uh, as a regular user. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is open a terminal. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to create a password. And the way we do that is we type slash sbin slash grub dash md5 dash crypt. Okay, and then hit enter. It's going to ask you for the password that you want to set and um, the password I'm going to use um, for the demonstration is going to be password. You never actually would really want to use that password. That password is a very bad, word password is a very bad password. But this is just for our demonstration. So I retype it twice and here it's given me the encrypted MD5 password. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll open up another terminal and I'll bring it down here a little bit lower and I'll hit control shift plus plus make it bigger and then I'll drag this down a little bit so I can see that new password. I'm going to do a change directory to slash etc slash grub oh, I'm sorry cd to slash boot slash grub and then I'm going to vi grub.conf you can use your favorite text editor here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down after the timeout line and I'm going to open a line to uh, insert and then I'm going to type password space dash dash md5 space and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this password that was created up here so I'll copy that and I'll paste it into this window and then I'm going to save this file okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this file and then I'll exit okay exit exit and then I'm going to go ahead and reboot the machine and sorry about that loud bang you got there a minute ago and my hand accidentally hit the microphone I'm not sure what the effect of that was hopefully it's not a bone crunching crash in your ear okay here we are we're at the uh, 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 we're at the grub screen and you can see now that it's telling you on the grub screen that you need to enter a P. I'm going to actually hit the space bar to stop that countdown. <coughs> um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go in and edit that line like I did before by just hitting the E letter. And I hit the E and nothing happens. So now if I hit P, it's going to ask me for a password and if I'm somebody who's authorized to go in I'll know that the what the password is and if you remember we made the password the word password so I'm going to go ahead and type that in and now you see you get the same kind of lines that were on the grub screen previously um, and so now if I hit E it's going to actually let me go in and edit um, these various lines uh, if I should so wish okay so that's what's involved in uh, creating a grub password. You uh, create a password using grub-md5crypt and then you put that uh, password statement into the grub.conf under slash boot slash grub. I hope this was informational and uh, uh, 
enjoy protecting your systems. Thanks.